and to some infrastructure development now where the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing and the Lagos State Government are urging people occupying spaces and the bridges to vacate them. Officials of the ministry and the state government stated this after carrying out <coughs> inspection of Akbogbon and Ijara bridges in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu's report is presented from our studio. It was a day of inspection for the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola. The minister and his team started with the Akbongbo Bridge in Lagos. Workmen could be seen drilling and carrying out auto repair works on the bridge. At every point, the contractor explained what the workers were up to, as the minister needed more clarifications. The situation was not different at the Ijora costing on the bridge. Integrity test and the physical investigation. The more than 50 year old 4.1 kilometer bridge has not seen much maintenance in the past years and its expansion are completely damaged, no thanks to the massive impact of the recent fire incident. Back at the Build Well project farm, it was time to brief newsmen on when they will complete the rehabilitation project. I'm going to go back to my suppliers and see how I can fast track the supply of, of the bridge components that were ordered by end of May, okay, latest end of June 2023, the bridge will be open to traffic. All the consignments that uh, he brought down to do the other section that were bad under the comprehensive maintenance had to be moved there to Aquagon. The state government again lists the routes available for diversion for motorists during the closure. Um, so when you get to the place where you go to Akbogo Bridge, you have to ramp down, and like you're going to the 7-Up, and then you then do a U-turn, and then head towards Ijara Lokba. Now, it will be a disservice to Nigerians, as lives may be lost if these avoidable disasters are not stopped. Under bridges are not marketplaces. We have reached a point where I think uh, the best words to describe it is tough love. We are reaching a point where we are telling the Lagos State Government now to we'll work side by side with you to remove all the residents who use uh, under bridges as places of trading. You don't live your own life by destroying other people's lives. If these actions are not taken, this bridge will collapse. Even more dangerous is the fact that as workers continue with the repair works on the bridge, cars are still driving on it.